Hi y'all, it's Liz with Shutterbucks Photography. I had a random thought. Um, I wanted to share with you why I started doing photography and what I want to do with photography. Um, because if you know anybody follows me or anybody is um, interested in knowing about me, um, it's be cool to, to tell you, you know, why I want to do what I do. Um, when when I was a little girl, um, my mom had a Polaroid camera and I'm sure a lot of people that are my age, um, I was born in 82, I'm in my early 30s, um, give or take some years people have um, used them and played with them and they were really fun as a kid, they were, they were really awesome. Um, we, we had a dance group, a performance group, so I took it with us and would take pictures and I have a lot of memories on Polaroid. Um, I, I went a few places traveling as a teenager and always hated how my pictures turned out. And I got really frustrated. I went on a trip to DC and several of my pictures were just really crappy. And I was bummed out. And um, then I got pregnant with my daughter. Yeah, I was still in high school. Um, but I got pregnant with my daughter and my dad had this really, really cool um, Olympus camera. It was a film camera. But it just took amazing pictures. When I started developing these pictures, um, they were crazy good. And then I had a couple more kids and was like really wanting to document everything with my children. And so I got a digital camera and then I realized what I could do with pictures. Um, I grew up in, the, in Arizona and kind of on the outskirts of the valley and in Iowa. And I was, um, kind of exposed to hunting and fishing in the outdoors at an early age and I really really enjoyed that and so I I started thinking I'm like you know I wanted to go to art school and I'm like you know I kind of was putting all this together and thinking how how can I combine all this you know so I, I decided really just when I'm like I'm gonna be uh, you know a, a photographer I want to I want to photograph wildlife I want to be on the cover of National Geographic that is my goal someday and I, I will get there um, but in the meantime I was like I need to learn how to use my camera and I have kids so I started practicing on my kids and next thing you know people are like oh you know you take really good pictures you should get into it took some pictures for some friends they really loved them um, and I'm like, you know what? I can do this. I'm going to make a business out of it. So, um, I came up with a name and invested in some better gear. Um, and, um, a year later I, I have, um, you know, uh, people following me on Facebook. Um, I have people following me on Instagram and kind of trying to break into the, the Twitter scene a little bit and start using that as a, as a marketing thing. Um, I, um, ended up booking, um, I did my first wedding in May 2015 as a second shooter and I did another one in August for a friend and literally within a, a couple of days of coming back from that wedding I booked two more weddings and here I am. So I am kind of got thrown into wedding photography and I like to do small weddings, not too many people. I like to get more intimate and personal with the, the guests and, and the bride. Um, but yeah, that, that's how I ended up here. And I, I love art. Uh, I'm not a huge editor. I, I'm not an artist um, as far as um, like graphic design or I don't, I haven't mastered Photoshop. I, I use primarily Lightroom. Um, but I, I love seeing a photo that was kind of crappy um, and taking that raw file and turning it into something stunning that my clients love. That, that right there is the most amazing thing. Um, and the next couple of days I see people start posting pictures from weddings from their cell phones. And then I post my pictures and my pictures get spread all over the place and people can see them and they see the comparison. And they're like, this is why people pay for a photographer. This is, this is right, this is what it is right here. And I get clients that way. Um, everyday people are more and more um, inclined to step away from the, oh, I don't need a digital camera on my cell phone, or oh, I don't need a photographer, I have a digital camera, whatever it is. They slowly see it, and they're slowly starting to come back and say, I need pictures. So um, the art aspect of it is great. Uh, documenting memories is great. Um, but ultimately, it's that practice to help me get to the, the goal of where I want to be. Uh, and yeah. 
So that's how it happened. So thank you for watching. Night, y'all.